Understanding the phrase, awash with, enhance your English vocabulary. Hello, and welcome to today's English language learning session. Today, we're diving into a very interesting and descriptive phrase, to be awash with. This phrase adds color and vividness to your speech or writing, and understanding its usage can greatly enhance your English skills. So, let's explore what it means, how to use it, and some examples to clarify its usage. To be awash with is a phrase that paints a picture of something being abundantly filled or covered with something else. It often implies an overwhelming or excessive amount. Originally, this term was used in nautical contexts, referring to the deck of a ship being covered with water. However, its usage has expanded far beyond maritime references. To truly grasp the meaning, it's helpful to see, to be awash with, in action. Let's look at some examples. 1. The room was awash with sunlight, meaning the room was very bright and filled with sunlight. 2. After the concert, the streets were awash with fans, indicating that there were a lot of fans filling the streets. 3. His mind was awash with ideas, suggesting he had many ideas filling his thoughts. Each of these examples shows a different context where the phrase can be applied, illustrating its versatility. Understanding synonyms can also help deepen your understanding. Similar phrases include, flooded with, overflowing with, and brimming with. Each carries a similar meaning of something being in large, sometimes overwhelming, quantities. It's important to use, to be awash with, correctly to avoid confusion. Remember, it's used to describe a large quantity or abundance of something, and it's generally not used for describing small or insignificant amounts. For instance, saying, the desert was awash with water, would be incorrect unless there truly was an unusual amount of water in the desert. We hope this explanation of, to be awash with, has been enlightening and adds a new, vivid phrase to your English vocabulary. Remember, practicing using new phrases in sentences is key to mastering them. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to helping you continue your journey in learning English in our next session.